the hell is Carlo? I got some gangsters in my family tree. You know it ain't no hoe with me. Been thugging all my life. I just thank God that I survived the street. Be careful how you stuck to me. Glock 23, oh, 33. Won't cut my tail for now, nigga. Bet I go out like a G. I got some gangsters in my family tree. They gave me game up in these streets. Disrespect my name for some fame. You gon' be underneath. I'ma make sure that my family eat. Cause they depend on me. This is for the G's up in jail. I got some gangsters in my family tree. They sneak. Shit ain't in my jeans. Play with one of us, I bet we leave your thoughts all on the scene. She put that sauce on this one. It's your boy, Cartier Carlo, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as y'all see, man, you feel me? As y'all can see from the intro of this shit, man. I done, I done somewhere, it's kind of hard to tell, man, because uh, the lighting, but you can just see a little bit of the glare. You know what I'm saying? Um, I tried to chrome polish, you know what I'm saying? The slide, bro, just trying some. You know what I'm saying? Uh, different, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and, and I ain't want to go to a gunsmith and pay all the extra little bread or whatnot, man. You know what I'm saying? To uh, get them to do it. So, I just did a little research online. You feel me? To see how I can do it. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy part about it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I did it. I did as best as I can. You know, I was finna try to keep polishing it until it went full mirror, but I didn't really like too much of that shine, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. It's like this right here is just perfect for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it just perfect for right now, man. You know, it's, it's cool. ain't too, too shiny, but it's definitely not... Like the regular, you know what I'm saying, Glock, you know what I'm saying, where it just fucking just blue finish, uh, Tanifer, whatever it's called, um, what else is she, with the Teflon and all that on there. You know, I just try to do something different, man, you know what I'm saying, try to do something different to my strap. You know, I still kept the barrel black. Most people really, the people I was seeing, they was doing the slide and the barrel, but... I didn't want to do that, man. I, ain't, I, I didn't want to do that, bro. You feel me? That's be kind of dope. You know, uh, but anyways, man, just to try to make this short right quick, all I used was, I had bought a pack of sandpaper from uh, Dollar Tree. You know what I'm saying? Like some, it was a whole pack of sandpaper. Um, and I just used dang near every sheet in there that I that that it came with, bro. Until I started seeing some progress. At first, when I did it that way, it was kind of making the gun look like it was battle worn, you know. And it was it was nice that way, you know what I'm saying? Like just having the slide look battle worn, look like it been through some, you know, couple of drops and flops and shit like that, you know. That was that was cool then, but you know, I was just like, man, they just ain't it, cause. It's, it's still not just blingy, you know what I'm saying? It, you, you, it's, it's hard to tell from a distance, it still looked like, you know what I'm saying, a regular Glock, you know what I'm saying? Just a, a you know, a normal, not even to say regular Glock, but a normal Glock, you know what I'm saying, slide. I was like, nah, that ain't it. So when I heard about that, uh, what it is, the mother, the mother's mag and aluminum polish or whatever, you know, I got this shit from like Walmart, a little five ounces. I got it from Walmart for like six dollars. And uh, I bought like a little Brillo pad, like a soft type Brillo pad. Um, what it is, a, 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 a fabric, is it the fabric rag? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I bought a fabric rag. And shit, that's it, bro. Like after I used the sandpaper, you know what I'm saying? Got all the got the, the dark black uh, off the slide, bro. And now when it got the mother polish, bro, 
and and bought the little Brillo pan, little sponge looking thing, bro, and just came and just put that on there and just start. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wiping until I seen most of the black gone, bro, and, and it had that shine. I, you can instantly start seeing the difference, though. The more you buff and polish it, bro, you can see the difference. I think I still got some more to do. I think I got a little excited. I'm, I'm, I'm going to still work on that spot right there, work on some more spots. It's really the top. I got to, you know what I'm saying, take more of some time up here. But on the size, it was easy. The size is nothing. You know what I'm saying? Easy to do. You know. You can see a little bit of the little metal scratches, but it ain't too bad. I think if I just, as long as I just keep on buffing and doing it, man, it'll be, it'll be pretty, pretty uh, blemish, man. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, dog. I'm kind of tired and exhausted a little bit, man. Nigga ain't really itself like that right now, but... I, I was too excited, man. I had to do the video right now, bro. But, uh, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Little, little something, something, man. Little gun content video right quick, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got the shields. I think that's what it is. The shield armory or something. Something like that. Five round base plate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh. Yeah, I ain't that many. You know what I'm saying? I got them. Yeah, I got them heart bursts. Them heart bursts. Ain't that in there. Oh yeah, still got the, oh yeah, and the thing about these sites, bro, I'm glad they wasn't plastic, bro, because I was able to uh, make them chrome as well, you know what I'm saying? And they still going in the dark, man, like this is dope, dog. Like this shit is dope, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got the blue and the green bean with the light on it, mud, you know what I'm talking about? You know, block coming a long way, man. I feel like next thing I'm going to do, man, get a little at the market trigger, I might do some stippling. Uh, might get Vegas stippling to, uh, you know what I'm saying, to trim the finger grooves or something like that. Uh, I had found the dude who do Cerakote painting for a hundred uh, for, the, for the lower and a hundred for the slide, so I might just throw him a hundred, you know what I'm saying, uh, customize this, you know what I'm saying, put, put my little skin on that thing. But uh, with that being said, man, if y'all want to do that shit, man, don't be scared. Don't use no thermal or Dremel, whatever that shit called. Don't use none of that, bro. You don't need none of that, bro. Just use a sandpaper, bro, and use your muscles, my nigga. Use your muscles. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it really ain't even just that hard, bro. Just if you got time on your hand or whatever, bro, just sit up there use that sandpaper and just keep... Keep, you know what I'm saying? Swiping that mug until you start seeing some progress, man. And when you get that mother's uh, mag and aluminum, aluminum polish, you know what I'm saying? You're going to definitely start seeing some progress, bro. You get the little sponge and stuff. I don't put all of it up. That's why I ain't show y'all show y'all all the little stuff that I use to do it. But it's easy, bro. And I think, I don't, honestly, I think I ain't done. Bro, I got this. This is $20, $20 worth of work. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I really think I don't spend, I ain't spent no more than twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? To, to get this job done, that other people was telling me, oh, it's gonna be two hundred and fifty dollars. Nah, that little shit. That shit is. And then they were talking about it was gonna take my gun like months and shit. They were gonna hold the slide for months. I'm like, nah, dog. You know what I'm saying? Finding out, man, you know what I'm saying? You put your mind to it, you can do it your goddamn self, bro, for the low low. Probably charging people myself, but I, I probably ain't gonna charge an arm and a leg though. But depending on how with all, you know what I'm saying, how how they wanted to look though. But I don't know, man. I'm comfortable with this though. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna keep polishing it and see how it turn out from there. So it might get a little better. But even just like this, bro, like it's, it's, I'm satisfied with it. You know what I'm saying. And, uh, man, the light don't light ain't doing it no justice, bro. You know what I'm saying. Like, I'll do another video, bro. Y'all be able to see this shit fully in the light and how I look. But, you know, I did that one little clip at the beginning. You know, that should just kind of show you in, in the natural light how they, how it come out, though, man. With that being said, man, your boy Carlo about this thing, man. Don't cap, don't cap.